Oh my bro. Bro. Welcome on in to Philly Take with RB. RB here reporting live 11:30 at night. Just got off the show a little while ago with my guy Eastwood and we were talking about whether the Sixers can actually improve, can we be hopeful that they will get better. And I said right now, you know, this is the the lowest I've been at in terms of my optimism because I'm seeing what's going on with this James Harden situation. Daryl Morey doesn't seem intent in trading Tobias Harris. He doesn't even seem interested in really doing much. The Sixers signed Pat Bev, Mo Bamba, and and people have been mad at me because I said that Mo Bamba doesn't move the needle. Well, guess what? (laughs) Guess what? Breaking news. The Sixers have now signed another vet minimum, or I would expect, I would assume that it's a vet minimum. The last one, I believe. And it is for Montrez Harrell. Breaking news, Adrian Wojnarowski, the, the uh, Sixers are re-signing Montrez Harrell on a one-year deal to return to the Philadelphia 76ers. I am at a loss of words. I don't know what to say. We were talking about free agents on the show. Kelly Oubre, PJ Washington. Those guys don't really move the needle that much. Did the Sixers just lose Paul Reed? Did they just lose Paul Reed? I floated the idea yesterday when they signed Bamba, and I said, well, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I don't think they'll lose Reed. That's been the main report. Now, I haven't looked at anything additional, so maybe by the time this comes out, you know, maybe there will be an additional report saying that the Sixers still intend to bring Paul Reed back, but it's not looking so good right now. And I know what the people in the comments are saying. Why are you so obsessed over Paul Reed? I'm not obsessed over Paul Reed. The guy's an actual young player, though. That can, you know, rebound, defend, show some heart, hustle for a loose ball, actually run a little bit. And he finally got his chance after Doc Rivers to his dying day did not want to play him. And then he finally got an opportunity and was a damn good backup. And I would honestly expect he would earn somewhere in the range of maybe six to eight, maybe nine million dollars in free agency, if I had to guess. And he's a restricted free agent. You hear me? Restricted. The Sixers will only lose them if they don't match an offer. <laughs> the Sixers have three backup centers right now on the roster. They Are we going back to 2019 here? I, I'm sorry. I am losing it a little bit here, ladies and gentlemen. My job here is to cover and, and report and talk about what I'm seeing. I don't know what to say. What are the Sixers doing? You were so damn close once again to the conference finals. If you're not going to make a significant change, you at least, you know, if you want to run it back, bring the same team back. No, you've let all your free agents go and you've signed Mo Bamba and Montrez Harrell. Are, are we running the three center lineup again? Are we going back to the Twin Towers? Are we going back to the Embiid Horford days? What is going on here? I like Trez. I wanted him last year, you know, a couple years ago, maybe three, four years now. He was a sixth man of the year, brought value. We saw this past year. For the most part, he doesn't have much left, man. I like Trez as a guy, but he just doesn't have a lot left. He had certain opportunities a few times where he looked good, but overall, no. And I was talking with Eastwood and the viewers on the show about, you know, last year when the Sixers went into the season with an open roster spot after they cut Isaiah Joe and Charles Bassey and they signed Dwayne Dedman after all of it. I just, I don't know what to say, man. This has been the most frustrating, confusing offseason. The Sixers just re-signed Montrose Harrell. Their their big depth is now Joel Embiid. Hopefully, Paul Reed returns. Mo Bamba and Montrose Harrell, they don't have any wings. They're, uh, you know, someone said in the comments, they're allergic to wings. And free agency is essentially dried up now. And they bring back Montrose Harrell. Why? Montres Harold declined his option. Why? Why did you bring him back? I don't understand. Somebody has to make sense of this, man. Somebody, are we really getting trolled right now by Daryl Morey and the Sixers organization? I've been a big Morey guy. I've been, I've been backing him. And you look back the last couple of years, I think he has done mostly the right things. I, I think people get on him for certain trades and stuff. I, I don't really put a lot of blame on him. I think he had a huge mess to clean up. 
But Daryl, we're almost talking about your legacy here on the line, right? Daryl Morey wants to win a championship, has not won one. And he's, you know, tried to clean up a mess. But now you, know, you got to take action. You're, you're trolling Sixer fans with the whole Tobias thing. The whole James Harden trade was reported. And now there's been nothing on that front. Who knows? It, it seems like there's going to be a standoff situation because Daryl doesn't want to trade him for anything other than a star. The Clippers are reporting they don't even want to trade Terrence Mann, let alone Paul George. And that situation might hold. Joel B's got to be sitting there thinking, what is going on with this organization? Maxie's not going to sign an extension. I'm confused, man. I don't know what to say. The Sixers re-signed Montrezl Harrell to a one-year deal. I, I, I'm losing it. I am losing it. Maybe he can be a Nick Nurse guy. Maybe. What about Mo Bamba, right? Everybody keeps trying to sell. And, and I think we're at the point where Sixer fans are trying to sell this idea that, you know, they finally made a move. But no, like they're, these moves do not make any sense. They don't make any sense. I think we're at the point where Sixer fans are now coping with the fact that this offseason is looking like a huge failure. And as of right now, on July 5th, they have done nothing. They've done nothing really positive. I, I like Pat Bevin's mentality, but on the court production, is he going to do much for you? Probably not. Mo Bamba, Mantras Harold, what is going on here? Something is fishy. I don't know. And, and I don't know what else to say. Daryl Moore, you better, you better come up with something, man, because Sixer fans are going to be very, very frustrated. Let's hope and let's pray that it gets better. That's all I got. Give me your thoughts down below. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Give me all your thoughts. That being said, I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.